everyone in this session we are going to discuss about the topic lungs with care fresh air and clean surroundings to a certain extent help to protect our respiratory system there are many instances which are harmful to the health of our respiratory system like dust particles poisonous gas pollutants pathogens the smell of different type of chemicals etc our respiratory system itself has some mechanisms to protect the lungs from these hazardous instances they are small hair and mucus present in the nostrils ciliary cells present in the nasal cavity cilia and mucus present in the trachea and macrophages in the alveoli you might have seen some posters like smoking is injurious to health smoking kills etc smoking is a bad habit that adversely affect the human race what are the respiratory disorders caused by smoking let us see in detail the respiratory disorders caused by smoking are lung cancer emphysema and bronchitis cigarette contains tobacco and tobacco smoke contains carcinogens carcinogens causes lung cancer the second disorder is emphysema toxic substances like nicotine tar toluene methanol stearic acid etc contained in tobacco gets deposited in alveoli which in turn lose its elasticity when it loses its elasticity alveoli ruptures and reduces the respiratory surface and thereby reduces the vital capacity also the third disorder is bronchitis the tar carbon monoxide etc present in tobacco leads to deposition of mucus and swelling of lungs due to proliferation of germs in the alveoli this condition is known as bronchitis besides protecting the lungs from diseases we should be well equipped to face unexpected accidents like drowning electric shock trapped in a room filled with smoke or chemicals etc in such situations if you are able to rescue the person and provide the first aid it will be useful so let us see some first aid which can be given in such instances Situation one: You are trapped in a room filled with smoke or smell of chemicals. Cover your nose and mouth with a damp cloth and move to an aerated place by sprawling on the ground. Rescue operators can also use this method to rescue the persons from that place. Second situation is drowning. We can't breathe air in water. So it is impossible to remain in water for a longer time. The person who meets with the accident must be rescued from water as early as possible and provide first aid. We should know how to expel water which has entered the body and how to perform the artificial 
respiration artificial respiration is a breathing induced by some manipulative technique when natural respiration has ceased in artificial respiration there are two methods mouth to mouth respiration and mouth to nose respiration check the mouth for obstruction lift the neck and the head back clear the air way in mouth to mouth respiration close the nostrils of the victim place the mouth over the victim's mouth and blow air into the mouth by taking the mouth away look for the chest expansion repeat this 10 to 15 times per minute in case of mouth to nose respiration close the mouth of the victim place the mouth over the victim's nose and blow the air into the nose take the mouth away look for the chest expansion repeat this for 10 to 15 times per minute how can we drain the water from the abdomen and lungs that entered the body during drowning put the palm on patient's loin apply some pressure on loin then the water can be drained from abdomen and lungs apart from protecting the lungs care should be taken to improve the lung capacity have you heard about the term tidal volume tidal volume is the volume of air we breathe in and out by normal breathing i repeat tidal volume is the volume of air we breathe in and out by normal breathing in human the tidal volume is about 500 ml another term related to lungs is vital capacity vital capacity can be considered as an indicator of normal healthy respiratory activity and the strength of muscles in the thoracic cavity vital capacity is the volume of air we breathe out by forceful expiration after forceful inspiration i'll repeat once again vital capacity is the volume of air we breathe out by forceful expiration after forceful inspiration it is about 4.5 liters in male and about 3 liters in female are you excited to know about your vital capacity let us see arrange plastic jars and tubes as shown in the figure after forceful inspiration blow air forcefully into the first jar holding the funnel around the mouth measure the amount of water that falls into the second jar the volume of the water will be proportional to your vital capacity when vital capacity increases the level of oxygen dissolving in the blood also increases due to this energy production also increases